Hello, I'm going to do a pre-trib rapture snack. We haven't had that for a long time, but I wanted to address something from that last video I posted, number 167, because one of our subscribers asked a very pertinent question, and I had done a terrible job. I didn't even address that in the video, and it, it really matters. And so what I want to do is put up on the screen here a chart. What we're looking at right here is when Joseph started filling his storehouses. And the reason why I said in that last video that the Revelation 12 sign happened seven years ago. Well, when we consider what God does with a sign and how he uses signs, and even how we use signs. If you're driving down the road, you're going to see a sign of something that's going to happen down the road. Well, that sign is crucial. So God uses signs as a wake-up call, a sign that, some, that is going to happen down the road. Ezekiel, for example, uh, he was a sign about things that were going to happen down the road, but people needed to start heeding the sign as soon as they became aware that this is a sign. And it was in 2016 that the sign of the Reven Revelation 12 constellation, that is when it really went viral because the first time I saw people talking about the Revelation 12 sign was back in that 2011, 2012 period. And people weren't really paying attention because 2017 was way off. Well, turn to 2015 and especially 2016, that's when people really started discussing at large the Revelation 12 sign that was scheduled to happen in 2017. It was in 2016 that many of us Bible teachers switched over and started teaching Bible prophecy. Now, I started out very safely. I'd been studying prophecy for quite a while, but nothing really more than what most churches teach. But I was teaching my local classes. I didn't have the confidence to make YouTubes about it, about anything with Bible prophecy. Well, it was, however, when I began digging into Bible prophecy when the 2016 um, conversations began to be more numerous online articles. I started hearing it from pastors even. And so, of course, many of us dug in and started getting our storehouses filled in 2016. That's when we really started seriously studying Bible prophecy and started digging in. And a lot of YouTube channels were started right there in that 2015, 2016, the prophetic channels. Uh, so that is when I'm counting, and I could be wrong, but that's when I'm looking that that's when the seven years of divine plenty began. And so 2016 through 2017, when that sign actually occurred in September, we'd already had a year of getting our storehouses filled. Something else that happened in 2016, if you'll remember, Trump was elected president, and that was kind of, kind of a global shaking, and especially in Israel. They were making a big deal about it. They were actually injecting, right along with the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation, they were injecting prophecies that, oh, he's a sign, oh, he's Cyrus. At the time, we didn't realize that that was erroneous prophecy interpretations being injected into the church. And so isn't it interesting, the year that God is pouring out abundant revelation, making it available to us, we've got this other source coming at the church, trying to dilute our efforts, um, I was clearly taken in by that. I remember thinking, oh my gosh, yes, this is it. He is like Cyrus. Well, he gets elected and it didn't take too long after his inauguration, we started piecing things together and thinking, wait a minute. The bride is so much wiser now. The bride is so much more in tune to be watching for that. And we kind of know those buzzwords that they use. And we kind of know their method of operation, don't we? As you know, the sign came and went. Many were discouraged. They left the topic of Bible prophecy altogether and have not come back into it. 
have not studying study have not gotten back into studying prophecy. They were just too discouraged. All right, so now through 2017 through 2018, well, the bride continued. Indeed, we were a little discouraged. We were a little perplexed, but we didn't give up on it. Many of us continued to try and figure out what this significant sign was, and we continued receiving more and more information. We, can, we started sharpening our discernment. I don't know if... Uh, the people you listen to, but I just started percolating on a lot of different options. I began rethinking the traditions I had been taught in my church, and I'm thankful for those traditions. They were a great foundation, but some of them simply were not true. So it was the bride remaining in study and receiving divine understanding of passages. Well, we had 2018 to September 2019, so that's three years that were completed since God had alerted the church to the Revelation 12 sign. The bride continued to be prayerful and asking God questions about his timeline. In fact, we had to learn how to learn Bible prophecy from God. Because when you think about it, up until that point, Christian leaders and people like myself, we were learning Bible prophecy the way seminaries taught it. And that's not necessarily the best way to begin learning Bible prophecy. Again, I'm grateful for the church, I'm grateful for that foundation, I'm grateful for that good start, but in order to build upon what we were learning, we needed a new style of learning Bible prophecy. So 2019 through 2020, that completed the fourth year, and the bride's questions are continued to being answered. The storehouse continued to be filled. Then 2020 through 2021, that completes the fifth year of Joseph filling the storehouses. We see there 2021 through 2022, the sixth year complete. And have you noticed the more things we were getting filled out, we grew exponentially in divine understanding, knowledge, and wisdom of Bible prophecy. Okay, then, September 2022. Think about this September 2023. That will have completed seven years of Joseph, Jesus, pouring out unprecedented amounts of of Bible prophecy understanding. This is why we wanted to alert all of you to this September 23rd, because I realize that the actual sign occurred in 2017, but we started learning about the sign in 2016. We started getting our storehouses filled in 2016. That is when people like me were sounding the trumpet and starting to prepare people for a pre-trib rapture because that's what we thought we were going to receive in 2017. So when we reach September 20, 2024, well, that will be eight years completed, but this is something I thought it was important enough because I don't want any of us to be blindsided by thinking when September 2023 rolls around that, oh, we've got another year to go. It's like, not really. Because the way God uses signs, He is expecting people to start paying attention when the trumpets, when His Bible teachers, when um, people are st starting to sound the alarm. So th this is how God uses signs and expects us in the prophetic community to be using the signs. All right. I want to thank you for the thoughts and the questions you bring up in that comment section because that helped me know I did a terrible job of actually communicating this and in my quest to keep my videos short, sometimes I leave out very important information and so I really appreciate you guys for adding scriptures that 
are very pertinent to the study we had just presented. Um, New Disciple added that passage in Amos, that a day is coming where there is going to be a famine for the word of the Lord. And so this is why we are filling our storehouses. We are yielding to the spirit of prophecy. All right, thank you for coming in for a snack. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.